Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial with more command line tools and terminal-based uh, applications. And uh, today I'm going to introduce you to the Apache Ant project. This is a, a Java library and command line tool that allows us to run applications right from the terminal. Today I'm going to be running a native applications uh, using the GNI like we did in the last couple tutorials. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open a, a terminal into our directory. And this is the one that we downloaded from, from uh, Google. And instead of going into the SDK, we're going to go into the NDK because we're running uh, native. So let's go CD into the Android NDK. And we're, gain, we're going to go into this uh, directory right here, CD samples, and run some of the samples. And this is Hello GNI. Let's do, let's do San Angeles. This is a cool one. Uh, CD San Angeles. Less. As you can see, once inside, it looks very similar to a workspace from Eclipse. It's got the Android manifest XML file, it's got the generated files, it's got the binaries, resource directory, sources for the Java activity. But there's one difference. It's this guy right here. It's the GNI. Okay? And if we go inside the GNI, we're going to see that there's, there are actually C files, okay? C files, C files, and uh, you know header files. So you know that you're not in the Java Android world anymore, but you're more in the Java Android C and C++ world, okay? This is the, the this is what makes native uh, happen in Android, okay? So that's why I'm trying. I wanted to show you this. So let's get out of here. And in order to build in this uh, native, you have to be in the same directory, the build XML. Uh, this normally will not be there, but being that I was testing it out before the, the tutorial, it's already been built. But let me remove it so we start fresh. And uh, let's hope it works. So what we need to do here, I wrote these this, uh, instructions. This is, I will keep this in the description of the video. I will, I will include them. It's just to remind me, to keep me in line, because sometimes I, I go off on a, on a tangent. So let's go into NDK, build, and try to build the directory back again. As you can see, it starts building just like uh, like Eclipse. This is what Eclipse does under the hood. You, it, it, you don't see it because it's happening under the hood. So now if we check again, we see that there's still not one there. So now let's update it with this command right here. Now it should build, now it should do it. paste and it's updating and now it's building it. As you can see it created the build XML and do we check now it's back here again. Okay that's the one that I deleted before and uh, of course it has the local properties and everything else project uh, program project. But uh, now the next uh, thing we need to do is uh, say and actually sudo and debug if you don't put the sudo in front of it it gives you sometimes an error and now is debugging and as you can see debug build build successful okay now we're going to sudo again sudo and debug install. Now we're going to install it onto our device. And hopefully I think is is the ADB server is running so it should be in there now. 
okay? And now what we're going to do, we're going to incorporate the last video where I show you how to uh, record your screen and produce a video. Well, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to play the video, the, uh, the, the application on my phone because you can't see it uh, because I'm using my, my real phone. It's not an emulator. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the application, run the application on my phone, and it's going to be on the screen. So I'm going to use the screen record command that we used in the last tutorial and make a video out of it. And then we're going to pull that video and you're going to see it on my, on my monitor. If everything works, that's what I would like to do. Okay, so let's do uh, ADV, this command. You know that command because we did it last time. And, but before I do that, let me check to make sure that my phone is being read. And it's offline, like I suspected. So let's do sudo su. And let's do adb kill server. Uh, and adb start server. And now exit. And now if, let's check again. adb devices. And now it's pick the, picking it up. Okay. So now we're going to run that command. adb shell, like we did in the last tutorial record the screen and produce a video into our SD card. Okay, so I'm going to run the application on the on my phone. And now it's running. And now I'm starting to record. And I hope it works. And it did what I, this application, this sample right now, it, the one that I'm doing right now, I don't know if you're familiar with this, uh, is this one right here. It's a really nice, uh, cool project, uh, San Angeles, uh, like Los Angeles in the future, kind of. And it's, uh, they use it to, for Android uses it to show, um, you know, their tutorials. It's a really cool one. So I, I hope it's, it's saving. So let's, uh, it's, it's a real long one, so I don't want to, I don't want to do the whole one, but I want to show as much as I can so you see it. And this is on YouTube, so this is not from our phone yet. I'm recording it on my phone, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So hopefully when I open it on my phone, you will know that you're seeing the, the same video. Okay. And let's stop it here. And stop. And let's uh, go back to our terminal. And then go control. See, and I stopped it. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do, ls, you see, there's nothing in here. I'm going to try to bring that into from uh, my phone using this the same thing we did the last tutorial, adb poll, into our the uh, desktop okay my desktop so adb pull just like we did last time and then from the sd card and pull the video and and call it sample actually call it san angeles san Angeles, so we know what it is. San Angeles MP4. And so 
video mp4 and let's try to see if it does it and it's doing something so it looks like uh, let's hope that it worked so ls you can see san angeles mp4 and now we're going to use vlc to play it on our desktop and let's hope it works and it works this is uh the screen on my phone as you can see so it did this it uh it recorded from the from the screen and it's using the same technique that we used in the last tutorial and uh, it's a it's a great way of of, of you using your phone as, uh, as a as a camera in a way okay uh, without having to have a camcorder application just you just run the same commands that we have run in this tutorial and the last tutorial but but this is the end of the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.